Cow football was a priority from a very early age and I just love playing football at school with my mates at, on the weekends with my neighbours and, and cousins and mum's uncles all played football so I grew up pretty much with football around me. Always competitive from a very early age, just always trying to take the best grab or, or, the, or the kick the best goal um, against my my neighbours. Uh, there was a bit of a battle going on in the neighbourhood, that's for sure. Yeah, well, growing up uh, out in the northern suburbs at Salisbury North, played with the uh, Salisbury North um, Hawks, and um, from there I moved or got selected to, to uh, try out for the under 17s for Port Magpies. And so I went and did a pre season uh, over that summer and was lucky enough to get selected, and I played in the under 17s there as a 14 year old actually and um, yeah just all progressed very quickly and before I knew it I was playing league football with the Port Adelaide Magpies at 16 years of age and and that same year I was lucky enough to play Till Cup as well so um, I played uh, I think we, actually I played Till Cup for two years straight the first one was in Brisbane in 1989 and the next one was in 1990 in Melbourne. So I had a, had a great time there. We played the Victorians in, in the grand final in both, in both years. So that was a good experience. And later in that year, in 1990, I was lucky enough to play in a uh, SNFL grand final with the Maggies. We uh, played against Glenelg and uh, it was all very exciting for me. I was only 16, just turning 17. And um, yeah, very fortunate to play in a big one. It was a strange feeling um, just coming out of high school when I was quite skinny. It was obviously wasn't mature yet. Uh, fronting up against fully mature men who, you know, got big biceps, big shoulders, uh, big legs. So it was a little bit daunting at, at first. But um, I just love football, and I I just uh, went with the flow of it all, and I didn't really care too much about whether I was going to get hurt or squashed or anything like that from the big boys. I sort of felt, well, I'm young and I've, I've got a bit of pace on my side, so I might be able to get, a, get out of trouble if they're trying to uh, hurt me. Just thinking back, you know, I, I can still vividly remember I th uh, Gavin's first appearance with the, uh, with the Magpies in senior football. And um, I reckon we played a, um, a trial game. And uh, it was one of those pre-season matches. And end of the first quarter, we weren't doing all that well. You know, trial games, we... Uh, we weren't all that serious at times, and um, uh, we were having a bit of a rough drop. We had a good team in 1990. You know, you had the Greg Phillipses, and you had Mark Williams had come back, and Bruce Abernathy had come back, and there was a good group of uh, experienced players out there. And I still vividly remember quarter time in the huddle, coming into that huddle, and Choco, Mark Williams, yells at everybody and says, "No, as Mark does, <laughs> um, that young kid is showing us what to do." And there was a young Gavin Wanganine who was tackling people several sizes bigger than him, you know, the Greg Phillips type, tackling like a leech hanging onto him, bringing him to the ground and showing the way with the senior players with courage. Sure, he had the skill, but he also had that desire. And from that point on, young Gavin was just, he'd won the senior players. And you saw in that grand final there that Jack was saying, the senior boys were saying to a Scott Salisbury, touch him and you're dead. Well, that was the sort of respect that Gavin had gained uh, amongst the senior players. And that's the most vivid memory I've got of, uh, of Gavin, the first memory I've got of him playing for us. Noel Judkins is uh, the uh, recruiting uh, manager at Essendon and uh, lucky enough to get me on tape and show Kevin Sheedy a bit of footage of myself and before I knew it I was drafted uh, in uh, I think it was November 89 um, and um, so I stayed uh, obviously the next year and decided to go over the beginning of 1991 that was my first year with Essendon that was a huge experience. When I actually... Uh...